The World Figure Skating Championships continue here. Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers, Peggy Fleming, and Melissa Stark taking the ice right now. Tatiana Topmianina and Maxime Marinin in eighth after the short program, the Russians are. And it's a great choice of music that they've chosen to West Side Story. side triple jump a triple sal cow very solid and smooth and right back into the character of west side story nice speed skating into this split triple twist lift she really tilted with that but it was a good catch on the landing. Tatiana, 19 years old. She is from Perm, Russia. Maxime, 23. Turns 24 during this event from Volgograd, the same hometown as Yevgeny Plashenko. Beautiful throw, triple loop. Side by side, triple toe loop, double toe. Nice combination, a little far apart, but two sets of triples in the same program. That's incredible. Great single skills. And I love this program. It has such character to the choreography, and it really blends and it flows over the ice so perfectly, and it suits them so well. bit of a roll. They shocked everyone capturing the silver medal at the European Championships. She has lovely positions in the air on the lift and especially on the landing. Good that, line and extension. And that one arm you know, coming down that takes strength on both parts. Recently moved to the suburbs of Chicago and are now being coached by Oleg Vasiliev. Hate to bring him up, Peter. I know he beat him <laughs> for the 84 Olympic title. But he has done so much with this team in a short period of time. ahead of them 
They've got a long way to go because they were in eighth after the short program. How high do you think they could move up with that performance? Well, I, just, I, I think this could help them a whole lot. Two sets of side-by-side -side triples. That is really terrific and a very good program. Tatiana Topianina and Maxime Marina now living in Chicago, but from Russia. Staying in nice and close on this throw triple loop. She has a very good air position, shoulders just where they should be. And look at the extension in that right hand and arm, totally in control. Wonderful. Here's ABC Sports Stro Motion presented by Chevy. Topianina and Marinin had a very nice program, and their throws were extraordinary. Nice and close on the takeoff. She stays perpendicular in the air and then keeps a straight back for a very good landing. Look at that left leg, how stretched out it is. And the wry smile at the end, the pump of the fist, they knew that they had just done exactly what they wanted to do in the free skate. Five, six, five, 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 How much five, can they climb the ladder five, now? Seven, Remember, they were in eight. Five, five, Here's the five, first set seven, for technical five, merit. Six, oh, I like five, seeing the 5.7s for five, five. the side-by-side -side triples that they did. The and the lifts were good. The throws were good. Now the second set for presentation. And they've got to be pleased with those, too. So, Nyanana and Marie in a very solid five, performance seven, here in the five, first game. Seven, five, seven, five, when we come back, they follow in the great tradition of Russian pair skaters like Gordieva and Grinkov, Yelena Berezhnaya, and Anton Sikoridlidze are next. 2001 World Figure Skating Championships, the pair's gold medal on the line, and there are the two-time world champions, Berezhnaya and Sikoridlidze. They are not afraid to take risks. This year's free skate is a major departure from their classical approach. I play a flower girl. She is funny and she is very serious. Sometimes very mm, cool, maybe. In an attempt to reinvent themselves, Russia's Yelena Berezhnaya and Anton Sikoridlidze have turned to comedy. In their compelling new program, they pay tribute to silent movie legend Charlie Chaplin. An interesting choice because last year, their lives more closely resembled a tragedy. Nothing was easy. Nothing. Uh, a lot of problems with our off-ice life. It's like snowball, go, 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 and growing. The lowest of lows came when the defending champions were disqualified from Worlds because Yelena had tested positive for a banned cold medicine. I was shocked, you know. I didn't know, like, I was like, what, how? We confirmed that she took this medicine against cough, but we never expected there was something prohibited in those um, pills. It's happened anyway, and just forget about this and thinking about the future. Easier said than done. That incident caused them to be stripped of the European title. While in their personal lives, they had to deal with adjusting to a new life in America and the end of their much publicized romance. I want to tell you, we, just, we still be good friends like usually and nothing changing. We feel great together. I can see that Yelena is uh, very cold in her reactions to happenings and he is very hot. So I call them north and south pole and so these polar opposites skate inspired by chaplin hoping to transform last year's tears into tears of joy she started to skate as a blind girl but then uh, after she feels that he cares about her then she uh, slowly um, opens her eyes and the, the rest of the program they are both happy uh, enjoying life Well, the end to this season could bring their third gold medal. As Peggy mentioned earlier, Gordieva and Grinkov, the last ones to do that. The leaders after the short program, Yelena Berezhnaya, Anton Sikoridlidze. Here they go. Well, I love this new program. And what I love about it is subtle power and its humor, its love and its, its excitement.
doubled with brilliant choreography. They will have difficult pair skills. They open up with side-by-side -side triple toe loops. Oh, and perfect. The Very nice. is so good. And that landing position. Now this next combination, this side-by-side -side double axles and step in between to a triple toe loop. into a double toe. Oh, a little bit of a collision there. That should be a smoother exit. Encouragement, shall we say, for uh, Anton to actually buy into this number and to want to go out there and skate this year to this. Well, they're very well known for their elegance in their skating and for them to branch out and do a little comedy, and that's the toughest thing to do, is subtle comedy. But they carry it off so well. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> struggled over the past year and a half or so. Their coach tomorrow, Moskvina, has always said, don't worry, they'll be there when it counts. And they have so far here in Vancouver. This will be a big hurdle for them to get over. It's the throw triple loop, and sometimes Elena is not ready for the landing. She needs the height, the rotation, and a good landing like that. Just hanging on, though. an effective number so emotional and they are so good how do you rank them with the russian greats gordiev and grinko kazakova dimitriev they bring a different dimension to uh, pair skating for the russian skaters because they're technically good but they're also telling a story and they really draw you in with the emotion peter tough to beat or some I think they've left a little bit of a doorway open actually with that performance. I've seen them perform it a little bit better than that, but don't get me wrong, it was very good. And this was their triple twist and watch her get good lift in the air, but they have kind of a collision here when he catches her. Her body slams up against his body 
a little rough on the landing. This is ABC Sports Stromotion presented by Chevy. Look at the first frame on Berezhnaya and Sikorlutse. They are in the same position, and that's so important before you launch your partner into the air. She's perpendicular in the air. Wonderful, and then a very solid landing. But it was the takeoff that made this good. And now this throw triple loop, which she gets good height, which she really needs. And up in the air, very tight turns in the air. But she's a little shaky on that landing and really doesn't get that free leg back for a real strong position. Now the march five, from the eight, judges as Tamara Mas Venus sits alongside five, the first set five, for technical eight, merit. Five, eight, five, mm. seven, and there five, is a seven, little bit of room there. Five, absolutely. Eight, five, six. To see five six as you know the march for that there's room. And now the wait for the presentation nine, march nine, here. They are. Well, those are higher, as they always are for Berezhnaya's secret lead there. They utilize the ice so well with their program. So now the two-time world champs have to sit and wait. Thank you. Still to skate here at the world championships, the two-time silver medalist Xue Shen and Hungbo Zhao of China. But up next, the reigning Canadian champions. The roar in this building will be deafening when Jamie Salé and David Pelletier take the ice when we come back after this message and a word from our ABC station. And I guess when I, when I started to cry, I mean, I felt something very natural. I just felt terrible. And I see Dave sitting beside me and he poured his heart out in that performance and just that I let him down. It's very emotional. It's really hard to deal with at the moment. Who am I to say it's her fault? You know, who is she to, to say, Dave, it's your fault. It's, I mean, it's our fault. We're a team. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. I felt more horrible for the way, uh, the way she felt than me. The most important thing is our attitude mm -hmm. between each other is way more important than any throws or any lift or any jumps. This year, Jamie and David have come back better than ever, flying high. Their special chemistry and respect for each other has catapulted them to the top, beating everyone, including the Russians. And they look forward to the world in their own country. I think the Canadian crowds are great. They all want to... Um, be sort of like family to us in a way that they're cheering for us and they're there for us and obviously i just this time i really want to enjoy it and like dave always says to me just like home they're looking for a little home cooking right now the canadian champion taking the ice in front of the home crowd and many in this arena almost 16,000 here has been sold out all week they've waited for this moment for a long, long time in third place after the short program. Well, this is so tough for them. They have so many expectations, so much pressure. Can they make this their year? I'm always so impressed with their throws. She has Wonderful precision in the air, and usually a great back right there on the landing. Very nice. Side by side triple. Her nemesis. Yes, stumbled in the short program, but no problem there. Actually went to see a sport psychologist over the summer to work on those jumps and the mental aspect of staying in it, staying focused.
throw, triple foul cow, back inside edge takeoff. Very solid landing. She's on autopilot. <laughs> Beautiful. With every element, the crowd noise gets a little bit louder, too. that double axle. Satisfaction. The image of Jamie Selle last year at Worlds breaking down crying with her head against the wall after her mistakes cost them a spot on the podium to come back now in their home country and pull this off. That's got to feel good. Peter, what do you think, though? Did you like their program or the Russians? Well, I, what I thought was they had a wonderful character running throughout their program. There was great freedom. They didn't rush their timing except for one small mistake on her double axle. She did a single, but it did not undermine the choreography. It was beautiful. Peggy? I thought they were skating a little tentative. They looked a little bit nervous, but they were solid out there, and they are just so magical to watch. You saw David's parents a moment ago in this crowd. Salé and Peltier, they got them out of their seats here in Vancouver. These were beautiful side-by-side -side triple toe loops, and for Jamie to get through this, this was a big hurdle at the top of the program, and they carried on with wonderful throws, and here's an example of that on this throw triple salcow. I just am so impressed with her position in the air and more important the position on the landing and how she just steps out effortlessly continues on in a lovely program problem here though single axle for jamie right in front of the judges it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the score Remember, there's no Russian judge on this panel. There is a Canadian judge. There is a judge from the U.S. The reaction to the technical merit marks from Jamie Salle. Look at that. Well, obviously, that double axle didn't hurt them at all. They have skated well five, eight, and nine. The marks for presentation. Presentation marks. Look at how high those are. They just found out. 
Sale and Peltier into the lead over Belisnaya and Seeker and Legion. The celebration has begun. It, that is wonderful. That is so well deserved. To do it in your home country. What a feeling. This may continue for a while, folks. <laughs> Magic that will be awfully tough to match, but two of the top teams still to skate, Shannon Zhao of China, and up next, the reigning world champion, Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov of Russia. The International Skating Union, the sports federation that governs figure and speed skating worldwide. With a membership of more than 50 countries, the ISU is responsible for the technical control and the direction of the world's most important skating events. The International Skating Union, bringing you grace, power, speed, and champions since 1892. Backstage, Salé, Peltier, they're the new leaders here, and they're still out of breath after the performance of their careers. Well, a reminder, next Sunday, our coverage here at the World Championships continues. We'll have the finals of the Ice Dance Competition, a great show down there, as well as the special performances of many of the top performers this week in Vancouver. Next Sunday at 4 Eastern, 3 Pacific, here on ABC. The building here in Vancouver is yet to quiet down after the performance by the Canadians just a few moments ago. Salé and Peltier in the lead. Over the two-time world champions, Beresnaya and Seeker and Lidza, Zagorska and Shudek in third. How do you follow that act? Well, it's up to the reigning world champions now from Russia. Maria Petrova, Alexei Tikhonov in fourth place after the short program. They have had a disastrous season so far. They have yet to win a competition on the year. And they even switched back to their old program just weeks ago. And this is the program they won the world championships with last year. They're skating to four seasons. to do to skate after a performance like that when the house has just been lit up you've got so much pressure on you and it's hard to settle yourself down not alone the audience but yourself to get that focus and those nerves back on track
goes into a spread eagle position. And feet turned out hard to support your partner. Awfully tough to do, especially against the performance that Sal A and Peltier had. But Petrov and Tikhanov, remember, they were in fourth after the short program. They needed help. They needed someone to beat the leaders after the short program. There's Nyan Secret leads a, in the free skate. That has happened. So theoretically, at least, they have a shot at the gold medal. struggling with her throws this season, but she's got it back here. Nice throw, triple toe loop. that would keep her away from the ice training or anything? I just think they lost the momentum that they had last year when they won the world championships. That may have been it for them. They haven't regained that excitement in their skating. This may be the best we've seen, though. Absolutely. And to skate after Sally and Peltier, I wouldn't want to do that, that's for sure. Well, they rallied to that challenge. Certainly a solid program here in the free skate and a daunting pass to come back and skate after the Canadians. Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhanov from Russia. And this back inside edge takeoff on this throw, triple sow cow. Nice straight turns in the air, very solid landing. Not very high though, but very solid. And the throw a uh, triple toe loop here as she taps in after they do this turn and up she goes very nice in the air a little bit of a struggle on the landing but very solid fourth after the short where are they going to end up here five, after the free seven, skate the reigning five, world champs five, six, the first set now five, for technical six, merit peter five, four, five, six, these are five, six, in some cases good five, scores six, to see 5.7 five, seven, low of 5.4 but the, the second set will really tell the story for presentation five seven five four five seven five five anxious five, moments five, waiting five, for those here they are 5.2 five, five, up to 5.7 five, five, wide range five, on the second seven, marks five, for petrova and tikhanov into third place behind berezhnaya and sika Rodriguez. getting set to skate next shuei shen and hungbo zhao of china the silver medalist the past two seasons at worlds they hail from a country that's recently turned its attention to the sport of figure skating and are products of a chinese training center devoted strictly to skating. They're in a position to win China's first gold ever, which would change their lives. Meanwhile, it comes down to this. Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers, Peggy Fleming, and Melissa Stark. Here's the final pair takes the ice, skating for the gold medal. Saleh and Peltier in the lead over Berezhnaya and Sikorid leads a Petrova and Tikhanov in third. But here are Shuei Shen and Hongbo Zhao of China, the silver medalist the past two seasons skating to the music spirit of spring with their last year's program.
side by side double axle a step in between into triple toe loop oh very nice making such a statement there they skate without fear and that allows them to really execute and those were done very close together too Do this once again, side by side, triple toe loop. Very solid. Those were better than the first set. Until last season, no Asian team. Actually, a couple of seasons ago, no team from Asia had ever medal at the World Championships. Xue Shen, Hung Bo Zhao trying to win the first gold medal ever. <laughs> A team from China or Asia, wow. The height is just amazing. She's eight feet off the ice at the top of that lift. And Peter, earlier today at practice on one of those throws, observers say because it was because she was too high in the air to come down safely. She injured her right thigh. Well, that's why you have to have good coverage going across the ice, and indeed they do have that on their throws. Both battled ankle injuries this season. Both from Harbin, China. The train in Beijing, where they live in a dormitory at the Physical Culture College there, with the other top skaters from China. the judges see nonetheless an outstanding program knowledgeable crowd here too because you got a standing ovation here you know the house cheering for the Canadian Sally and Peltier but they want to make sure Shen and Zhao know that they appreciate their efforts Sally and Peltier watching backstage the entire time what's that moment like Peggy while you wait oh it's awful it's awful I just want to close my eyes <laughs> and I think that's one of the toughest times for a competitor This is great. Look at the height she gets on this split triple twist lift. Again, over eight feet, really, if you think about it. Closer to nine, three rotations, and the good stretch on the landing. 
a lot of speed coming out of that and I just cannot stop talking about the coverage that they get across the ice the height and the wonderful speed coming out of that throw beautiful to see this is ABC Sports throw motion presented by Chevy the Chinese team have such height and distance on their throws and you can see why right here in the second frame he's giving it all that he has to launch his partner into the air that's why she gets such coverage across the ice and through many hours of training she can accommodate the force on the landing and at the end of the program that's a very difficult lift to take off forward the two of them like that and then this unfortunate mistake at the end too bad but it really didn't hurt the choreography Five, nine. neither one can even sit down while they wait for these marks the first set those are higher five eight Boy, they five, are eight. higher than Sally and Peltier and Barry's Naya Sikor and Lija and now for presentation no not enough those drop down considerably and I think it goes back to what we were talking about with the chemistry and the expression they have, the way they relate to each other on the ice. Not quite there yet, but definitely, technically, one of the best teams in the world, if not the best. Shen and Zhao fall to third place. They're gonna capture the bronze medal here. But it's Salet and Peltier at home, winning the gold for the first time in their careers. We'll have a word with the champions when we come back to Vancouver. Two years ago, Jamie Salé was waiting tables at Joey Tomato's restaurant. Now she and her partner, David Peltier, are the first Canadian pair to win a world title since 1993. How close was it? Seven of the nine judges split the top two teams by only one-tenth of a point. Sheer joy for the Canadians. The final standing. Salé and Peltier capture the gold medal for the first time. The Russians settle for silver. Shannon Zhao, the bronze. The Americans, Ina and Zimmerman, finish seventh. And Scott and Dulaban of the U.S. end up in 11th. So those two placements combined, the U.S. can only send two teams to next year's Olympic Games. But right now, the new champions have made their way over to have a word with Melissa Stark. Melissa? Thanks. What a performance by Jamie and David at home in Canada. Jamie, can you describe your emotions now? Not really. Um, it's extremely overwhelming. And I remember in our last spin in the program, um, I just kept saying to him, we did it, we did it. And he said, you know, keep your focus to the very end. And then I just lost it at the very end. And it's very overwhelming. It's unbelievable the feeling we get. David, how much did the crowd put you guys over the top? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd rather have 17,000 people behind me than in front of me, let me tell you that. But uh, every element we were doing, the crowd was just going louder and louder. And actually, it was pretty hard to keep the focus. And, uh, but I mean, I'd rather do it at home than do it anywhere else in the world. Sure. Last year, you finished fourth at the World Championships. Jamie, it was so disappointing. Mm -hmm. Can you put in perspective what this past year has been like? Well, we were actually talking about that earlier, and I said, last year wasn't such a bad thing it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me i learned so much from that and um i think this whole year is um i've proved that and i've shown that it, it was a good thing for me to have happen well you all couldn't have scripted it any better congratulations <laughs> thank, you thank you very much. much terry back to you melissa thanks peter how do you break it down now the top two teams here both had technical merit marks ranging from 5.6 up to 5.9 that's interesting, but take it one step further. Look, the Chinese had technical merit marks of five eights and five nines. Very strong there, but it was the presentation marks that told the story. You can see right here that the Canadians had higher marks than the Russians, and certainly the Chinese. You just can't underestimate the importance of artistry in skating. That was the difference for the pairs. Now comes the moment that Salé and Peltier have been dreaming about since they were little kids growing up here in Canada. On the top step of the podium, listening to O Canada.
Almost 16,000 people loudly singing the national anthem here. What a moment. The drama continues from the World Championships. The men skate for gold when we come back to Vancouver. <laughs> 